In today's video, we're going to be going through why organic uh, strategies to get clients are only getting harder and harder. And ultimately, understanding what algorithms are, how they work, is what's going to give you the true context and how you can kind of hack the process and get better results, right? Now, ultimately, we all have heard of algorithms. Oh, there's an algorithm change, there's this, there's that. And we're not quite sure, most of us not quite sure what they are. And it's because the algorithms, the code, all that sort of stuff is a hidden thing, right? It's what social media uh, companies do to try and, not in a negative way, but manipulate in a not positive, not negative, in a neutral way, the content that anyone sees so that they can get a better experience, uh, user experience. Now, I have to take a massive step back to then be able to jump forward and explain what this means. So, and why this is important, why you need to understand it. Now, social media companies, um, when they first start out, right, they're, they're, they're effectively software businesses, right? And the only way they make money at some stage is by getting as many users of that software as possible and getting those users to spend as much time as possible on the platform, right? So what I mean by that is like, let's just say, for example, I was to start a new social media platform today, right? To make any money, to make it actually work, you need to have a lot of people using it, right? And the more people that use it, it becomes a snowball effect, it becomes more popular, even more people use it, it becomes kind of cool, even more people use it, right? Now, the, the important piece of this is that it's not just amount of users, it's also the amount of time people spend on how effectively they want to get people addicted to using the platform um, so they spend more time on it, right? So it's not good enough to have a social media um, platform and have a billion users if people only come on there for one second. So the goal is to get people, as many people um, subscribed and using and at the same time, try and get you as addicted as possible so you stay for as long as possible. So for example, each day you're there for 10 minutes. I'm just making this up rather than 10 seconds, right? Now, that's the first stage. When you first launch, the goal is to get as many people subscribed and getting those people addicted to using and having the best user experience. So they're absolutely loving it. They want to come back all the time. They spend a lot of time there. They're watching videos there. They're, they're just hanging out on there, right? Now, the flip side of that is no one necessarily likes to go on social media platforms and see advertising, right? Or see certain things that they don't like, right? So initially, all social media platforms are free, right? Because they want to get people there, they want to get people using it, and they want to get people sticking around. So the algorithms are set up in a way to make it grow as fast as possible, make you want to recommend it to your friends and make you want to stick around and enjoy it as much as possible, right? Then as the user subscription goes up and as people are using it more, their goal then is to bring in advertising because advertisers, and this is the important piece, advertisers will pay more if the pers if there are more users, right? So effectively, the company can only make money by having as many users as possible and those people actually sticking around and watching the ads, right? It's, it's what's called, um, it's what's called media inventory, ultimately. So if I go on, let's just say Instagram and I go on for five seconds, I'm not going to watch, I'm not going to be there long enough to watch many ads. So I can't get served many ads. And so as a result, Instagram can't make much money because the advertisers pay money to show ads to people, right? And the longer I stay on there, the more ads I can see. And so the more money um, that will be made off me being as a user, right? So now to go back to it. So the first stage of any social media platform is get as many people as possible, get them using it as long as possible per day, right? But they don't make any money from that, right? It feels oh, really cool. Everyone's enjoying it, but they're making no money. Right, and these businesses are in business to make money, right? So the first stage is get people using, get them addicted to using it, and then they start introducing things like algorithms and advertising, right? And they start um, constricting free reach, right? Because they want people to start using ads, because ads is the only way they make money, right? So 
if they left it, right? So stage one, get as many people using as possible for as long as possible. Stage two, start making money, right? Because they're businesses, especially if they're public businesses like Facebook, Meta, whatever it might be. They actually have a legal requirement to, 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 to their shareholders to make as much profit as possible. That's actually by law. So if the CEO comes in and doesn't do everything in their, in their um, ability to make as much money as possible for the shareholders, they're actually doing something illegal, right? So you need to understand that. First stage, right? All social media pa- platforms are free, right? Get people using it as many as possible, get people as addicted as possible, then bring in ads. Now, if they bring in ads too early, they risk killing the growth of people and it becoming cool. Right, and so that's why they take some time. They get enough users, they get people addicted to using it, then they bring in advertising because that's the only way they make money. Right, and they and their ultimate goal is to make money. Right, once they bring in advertising, what do they start to do? They start to say, well, um, this cus- this person over here posts, and all their friends see everything, and all of their customers see everything, and they've got an amazing business, and it's all working well, and they don't need to advertise. So. If we don't start choking the reach of organic, right, and that person can't get customers unless they pay, the person will never do paid ads, right? You'll just keep doing free stuff, free posting, getting clients, whatever it might be. So what they do is they bring in ads and then to force people to use ads, now that they're addicted, now that they're there, they start constricting organic reach, right? So less and less people are seeing your stuff more and more. And they slowly take away, slowly take it away, moving people and forcing people to go to paid ads because that's the only way they make money, right? So it's a two-phase process and it's inevitable in every social media platform. Now, if you think back to it, um, you can look at Facebook did that, right? Then Instagram did that. And now TikTok's starting to do that and so on and so forth, right? They all start free with organic works amazingly because they're trying to get you addicted to using it. Then they bring in advertising to make money and they start killing off the the power and the ability to do stuff organically, to reach people. So they force you to using paid ads so they can make money, right? That is their long-term goal. And they just keep slowly, each time they update the algorithm, when someone says that, oh, the algorithm to change or whatever it might be, you probably see it when you post maybe a month ago, Half the people of your followers, your audience or whatever would see it and engage with it. And then they do an, an algorithm change and then maybe only a quarter see it. And they do an algorithm change, maybe only 10% see it. And then they do the algorithm change and only 2% see it, right? So they slowly constrict, right? So that they push people to doing paid ads. So you ne- by understanding that, you understand the journey of every social media platform. And the amount of times I pe- hear people say, oh, um, I jumped onto... Instagram, I grew a big following and things were going great and then Instagram screwed me, right? And uh, I can't reach any of my audience anymore. And it's like, it's inevitable, right? So jumping on a platform thinking, I'm just going to grow a big audience and then I'm going to have a big business for the rest of my life. You're not seeing the strategy, the long-term strategy that's inevitably going to come. Organic on every platform will commence to die as as soon as they, they try and monetize the social media platform. And most people are like, oh, I'm sick of seeing ads and oh, I don't like ads and why don't they just stop doing ads and oh, I hate that they brought ads in or whatever. It's like, yeah, it's a business, right? So you can only get upset if you don't understand what they're doing and why they're doing it because you haven't, um, cause you've put too much energy and, and focus into something that was always going to happen and you're kind of just gone blindly into it expecting you know, that this social media platform will just be free for life And it'd almost be like a charity. Unfortunately, it's not the case. So when you understand the process of the business growth of any of these platforms, you you can forecast what's going to happen. And then you're not surprised when it does happen because you're able to attack everything with the right strategy from day one, right? So I hope that makes sense. The amount of people I've heard um, that I've spoken to are like, I used to have a great business. I've got 500,000 followers for example, and um, when I post, I don't even get um, one lead anymore, for example. Uh, I used to get hundreds of leads and I don't know what happened and so on and so forth. It's obvious, right? That is the case. It's always going to happen for every single platform. And so jumping to a new platform going, oh, organic reach is better there and maybe I just grow my audience there, you're setting yourself up for failure, all right? So the only way that you can actually uh, hack the system 
is by understanding that paid ads is the key. The business wants you to do paid ads and will always push people to doing paid ads. So if you crack the nut of that one skill, you effectively can get clients for the rest of your life and you'll never run into a brick wall of, oh, I used to be able to get clients and now I can't. I, get, I hear crickets. I don't know what to do. Right, so trying to crack the nut of the skill of becoming an, um, you know, a social media celebrity and getting going viral and getting all this organic reach or whatever, it is not a skill that's going to pay you for life. It's only going to be a short term process, and then you're going to be dead in the water, right? Whereas if you flip your focus to becoming, uh, skilling up in the art of paid ads and being able to get clients through that, it is a strategy that is going to um, pay you and allow you to have impact and income for life. So flip, if you're focused on organic now, flip your focus and put all your energy and focus into skilling up in the, the art of paid ads. And once again, you will never hit that wall of frustration. So I hope that makes sense. Now you understand why organic gets harder and harder and harder, and it's only going to get further harder, even if you think it's hard at the moment, it's only going to get worse, right? And why, um, why social media platforms do that? And by understanding that, you can clearly see the inevitable and why attacking, trying to become, uh, you know, get a big following or grow your following or post all day, why that's only going to lead to failure, right? Long term, it's never going to be a strategy that's going to uh, help you be successful for life. And it's only going to create frustration later down the path. So realign your focus to the key thing that's going to give you long term success. And then you're never going to hit that brick wall. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that helps everybody align where they're at in their business, what they're focusing on, um, and allows you to have the success that you should have and the impact you should have long-term. 